I'm Todd Tucky, and I'm pretty dirty today, but I am going to show you a really neat piece of equipment. This is the two-player dual IQ computer. This computer is actually from the late 60s, and what's unique is that this was brand new in the box about five years ago, and we opened it up. We've had it at our house and playing with it and had some fun with it, but now I uh, want to show you how it works. This, when we wired past the 25 cent changer, it still works, insert one quarter, but we put a free play button on it. When you push that, it starts the machine, and two people play. The sound of music is about a family of singers by the name of Smith, Trap, Rogers, Hurt, uh, Rogers, right? Is that right, Kurt? Rogers? Or? No, it's Trap. So everybody gets a chance. Let's suppose this person gets C. Wrong. The red light came up. But the right answer is B, and then that green light stays on and then we go to the next question and player one's got a hundred points. How do bats navigate in the dark? Well, eyes, right? Or do they bump into things? Hmm. Let's say bump into things. Wrong. The red light comes on. But of course sonar is correct. So now player two is and then we move on to the next question. And so on and so forth. Fred Tubby Hall, one famous oh gosh. It sounds like music. Anybody with the name of Tubby has to be music. Oh, I'm right. I'm right. Next question. Let's see. The Gold Cup race is held in... Hmm. Well, you know what? We can actually find out the answer. I'm going to show you. Because the answer is a piece of film, and it projects one of five windows with light. There's five sensors here. And this is the right answer here. And that would correspond to which button would that be, Kurt? Do you remember? Oh, it's B. So that's the correct answer. We move on to the next. Now watch the film move. Nick's uh, lighting up the film reel. I'm going to push the button. You see the film advance to the next question. It's 35 millimeter film, and it has 7,000 questions in it. Isn't it amazing? We don't know what the question is, but we know what the answer is already, because the 35 millimeter film on the side has a white block to tell you which one's the answer. And that's it right there. So whatever that answer is, and this is worth $100 or 100 points because the 100 point light's still lit. Let's lower the panel again. The game does tell us to select here. No way to treat a lady, stars among others. Oh boy, this is an old film. I should know this. Wasn't it B? Isn't that what that was? Sidney Poitier? Was that B? Yeah. Oh, Ooh. too late, too late. Oh, there's a timer. I want to show you that. Look. There's a timer adjustment. Right here, you can adjust how long before the game moves on to the next question. And look, here's the rack of computer. The, I think these are, are these Intel chips, Kurt? Uh, are these Intel? Okay, I'm not sure. I think, I think Intel or Microsoft made these special Intel. Anyway, this beautiful piece of equipment is a piece of modern history. And it's in beautiful shape. The old sign on the top has a couple of tears in the corner. But uh, nothing too bad. That's something that you could fix. Uh, oh, it's moved on to the next question. And you can easily move it into your house. Uh, it looks pretty compact. Sides of the cabinet are gorgeous. If you'd like, we can move this free play button right to the front, or we can also put a uh, coin slot back on it. It's up to you. They don't make them like this anymore. Your own dual IQ computer for two different IQ people and it can be yours. Nice.